Hello and welcome to Newix Bytes. I'm Principal Consultant James Billingsley and this quick video is to demonstrate one of the data linking methods available in the context interface, focusing on linking items by shared or common entities. By doing this we're able to easily see relationships between people, devices and entities both within a single investigation or across multiple investigations without having to rely on keyword searches alone. Named entities are pieces of information Nuix extracts and collates from across your data sources. By default, we look for companies, credit cards, email addresses. In total, we have nine built-in named entities in Nuix. These will all be of interest regardless of the type of investigation you're doing, but today we're going to focus on the money entities. We also have the ability to add in your own custom named entities. So I have some Twitter hashtags, Mac addresses, and mobile phone telephone number entities here. In this scenario, we're investigating a fraud and in Nuix's network visual, we've identified a potentially important Skype conversation between our two key suspects. Now we're going to examine this by seeing what entity links we can draw out of this notable conversation using the context interface. Here we see all of the messages making up that conversation. We can label this visual to confirm they're all coming from the exhibit PC0003. In particular, I'm interested in what references to money are going on in this conversation. Selecting the entire conversation, I can browse to the entities and see there are three references to money and go ahead and expose those. Here we have our three references to money, which are quite significant amounts. Next, I want to see if these money references come up anywhere else within our case exhibits, maybe in other conversations, maybe in a contract document, for example. Selecting these three entities, I'm going to send these to a new context tab to search across the entire case. What we see is we have one new item which contains a reference to one of our money entity values. This is actually some data extracted from an area of file slack on a USB device, USB 0001. The data we've identified here actually contains part of a webmail message carried out using the temporary email service Gorilla Mail. If we go ahead and expose those email addresses, we can see those Gorilla Mail addresses being used which were actually accessed using a portable version of the Firefox browser on the USB drive. So let's see what other references to money were made within this email exchange. So there's one more reference to money we can extract here, namely $10,000. So again, this is a pretty interesting exchange here. And if we look at what other entities exist, I can see there are some people entities and also things like mobile phone telephone numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and extract these mobile phone telephone numbers. In this investigation scenario, we suspect there are links between the suspects under investigation and suspects from a previous related fraud investigation. We're going to see whether these telephone numbers correlate with anything else we have on some mobile phone data we've acquired in that previous case. Now in the top left hand corner, you'll see I've actually added three mobile phones from a historical case into this case. So now I'm going to go ahead and search these mobile phone numbers across the entire case, including those three mobile phones. Sending it to a new context tab now. And again, let's go ahead and arrange it by exhibit. So we can see here, in addition to our USB drive artifact, We've lots of references to these mobile phone numbers on both mobile 0003 in the form of iMessages and a mobile 0001 in the form of one SMS text and a few contact details. So without running any traditional keyword searches, we've investigated this Skype conversation. We've chased down those references to money, which came up in some partial webmail messages on a USB drive which in turn led us to a number of mobile phone numbers, which we successfully linked back 
to a couple of mobile phones and messages and contacts on his phones from a historical case. From here we could continue pulling on those threads using common entity linking methods or maybe start reading a few of those messages now and presenting those as evidence. Thank you for watching this new Exploits video and be sure to check out our other videos for more useful hints and tips including more videos on our context interface and how it can be used to empower your investigation techniques.